Welcome to more Motorsports Garage. I pray everyone's having a blessed day. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button, hit that like button, and turn that bell icon on to get notified of every upload. So today on the Legend of Zelda themed RSX that I'm building, um, we are going to be installing this little thing inside of this box. Now I got this on Amazon. I will link it in the description and it is absolutely awesome. So in previous videos, we got the Legend of Zelda hood cut done where I put plexiglass and LED lights. I'll link that in the description along with the Master Sword Shifter video and the door projector lights to project the crest onto the ground that you can see here. Now the next thing is that annoying door beep you hear, that beep, 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 beep. We're gonna take care of that and program a custom door chime sound. You can do this with multiple different things. You only get 30 seconds worth of audio, but it is really cool. So I'm gonna open this up and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so when you open this little thing up, it has this little door buzzer thing. And as you can see, it has a USB spot, so we can actually plug it in the computer. And then it has just a positive and a negative. So when you open the door, it will trigger this uh, buzzer right here through your factory system. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in. I'll show you how to use it. It's really simple. Just plug it in. It'll open it up with a sound file that's already in it. We're going to delete that. And I have a custom sound file I made for The Legend of Zelda. It's actually just the sound effects. So we're gonna drag that over to it. And this will be considered a USB drive. So we're gonna go ahead and drop it, drag and drop it right in there. And once it loads onto the door buzzer, we will take it and hook it up to power. So now we're gonna go over, take it to the battery uh, and just hook it up and I'll show you what it sounds like. Okay, just hooking it up to the battery with the negative and the positive. This is what it'll sound like when we open the door. Hello. So that will go for 30 seconds. Uh, I did pause the last half of it so it's just no noise at the last half. So it didn't keep repeating it over and over. But every 30 seconds it'll make that same sound again and do it again. Okay, so on this particular car, the DA Integra, we can actually take this little black box off the back side of the fuse box, take it apart and remove the two solder joints that hold in the door beeper. But on this particular car, the Acura RSX, that door beeper is actually inside of the speedometer gauge cluster. So I have to take the whole speedometer cluster out to remove that door beeper. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna do a full detailed video on how to remove the speedometer cluster. There's plenty of them out there if you guys wanna know how to remove them. And then I'm going to remove that. And we're gonna get this wired up in its place. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so on the back of this cluster right here, this little piece is that annoying beeping noise that you hear. We are not going to unsolder it because I don't want to have to undo all of the needles on like the speedometer and the tack and all of that stuff. So what I am going to do is just use a Dremel and I'm basically going to cut this piece out um, as carefully as I can without hitting this capacitor here. Just basically gonna cut it open and dig all the junk out of there. We're gonna try to solder the negative and positive. We'll see how that goes, but the first problem we have to work with is getting this to be quiet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, now that I got it all broke apart, there were a couple wires in here exposed. 
so I got them separated. Now I'm basically just gonna hot glue this whole thing around, so that way that they don't ever touch those two wires. I don't think that they would cause a problem, but better safe than sorry. And then uh, we can put this back together, get it back in the car, and see if the beeping went away, which I know it will because that's where the beeper is located. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, so hope you guys are enjoying. Alright, everything's working how it's supposed to. The door light is still projecting. The key is in the ignition and right now it would be beeping since the door's open. With the key turned forward, still no beep. Gauge cluster still works and everything on it still works. So with that being said, now all we have to do is put this somewhere. Now I'm going to use some double sided adhesive and stick it to the very top side of this kick panel which is where I have my LED strips mounted. It'll be on the top side, easy to access. I can easily plug it in and change the sound, put 30 seconds worth of music on it or whatever I want. Uh, the sound effect I loaded on it is just for demonstration. I'm not sure that's the one I'm gonna be keeping on it, but either way, it's pretty cool. Um, I could run the wiring to where both doors, when either of the door opens, it comes on, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm just gonna do it to this door. So what I'm gonna do is the ground wire is going to run to this trigger here, which triggers the light on and off for the door. It runs all the way through here and up through the door. Before it gets to the door, I'm gonna trim that wire back and that'll be the ground wire for this. Then the red wire will be the positive and that's gonna run up to the fuse box up here. And that will be to a constant um, fuse protected source so that way it still has a fuse and it'll have constant power so when I open the door whether the keys in it or not it'll make the cool sound effect so some of you may say this is overboard or too much or whatever but I really like it I think it's really cool and huge shout out to Joe for recommending this little thing I've been looking for one of these for a long time because I wanted to do it with the uh, Dragon Ball Z truck but I couldn't find one so huge shout out to Joe He's also the one that's making the emblems for the RSX, the Acura spot. It'll have the uh, crest like this on the Acura spot. But uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and get to installing this. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, please consider clicking that like button. It greatly helps the channel grow. So I'm going to go ahead and get to it.
All right, so now that it's all done, this is what it should sound like and look like. Hello. <laughs> That's so cool. And when I made this file, I made it uh, have no audio towards the last half because this will continuously loop uh, while the door's open. So if we wait here just a moment, it should make the same sound again. Hello. So it'll continuously do that if the door is open. Now I'm going to show you real quick on Filmora how I made this audio file, but we're going to actually use King Shock's music um, since it's copyright free. And I will load it onto it so you can actually hear how cool it is you can use actual music. So check it out. Okay, so right here is Filmora 11. This is what I use to edit my videos. Basically going to drag this audio file I got from King Shock. And we're going to trim it up. Let's see. Right here. Yeah, let's, let's get to a... I'm going to start right here. So I'm going to chop it. We're going to click this file, delete it, which will bring it here. And we only get about 30 seconds. So right at the 30 second mark, we're going to chop it again. Delete it. I'm going to turn the volume down just a hair, negative three on the volume. And then when we go to export, we'll hit create video. And then go down to MP3 file, which is right down here. Click that. And then I'll just label it My Audio 2 and hit export. That's a half a megabyte. So now that that's done, we will take that file right here and we will load that onto the programmable door beeper. Okay, so the door has to be closed because you cannot have power running to it when you do this. We've got the USB running and plug it in the computer right here. And we are going to take this one, delete that file. And we're going to load in the My Audio 2 file and place it on the device. Takes just a moment because it's not a very fast device. Okay, now that it's on there, we'll disconnect this. And uh, move this out of the way real quick here. And we're going to open the door and see what happens. That's so cool. And then it repeated. So it just infinitely loops. So I think that's pretty cool. So we can put pretty much anything, any sound, any movie quotes, you know, anything that you have an audio file for, um, you can put on there. So it's a pretty cool setup. I really like how easy it is to use it. I'm going to go ahead and plug it back in now that the door's shut. And we're going to load something else on there. So let's see what else we have. We'll go ahead and delete that file, and then we have the Sheikah Slate sound from the newer Breath of the Wild game. If you're not familiar with that, this probably won't be much of a noise for you, but uh, if you've played the game a lot and have as many hours in it as I do, this sound is quite familiar and annoying. So, we're going to go ahead and trim that up. Copy and paste. We're going to export, create video, then go down to MP3, my audio 7. We'll just save as a file. Okay. Now we'll take that file. We will drag and drop it. Okay. It is now on there. Disconnect the USB. And this is what it should sound like. That's awesome. Which, that sound gets very annoying in the game, so I'm sure it'd get very annoying uh, in here. But it is really cool that we can 
program whatever we want on this as long as it's an audio file. So I'm probably just going to put it back to the uh, treasure sound effects whenever you get a secret found in the Legend of Zelda games. Um, that's what I had it on. It's definitely a really cool mod, and you can do this to almost anything. Um, as long as it has a door sensor, you can do it to it. And if it doesn't have a door sensor, you could always put a toggle switch or whatever. So it's definitely really cool, and I highly recommend it. I will link it in the description. Well, there you have it for one of the cooler mods I've done. I personally like the hood a lot, but I like this a lot more because you can program it to whatever on whatever vehicle you want. It's absolutely awesome. Cannot wait to see this car with the gloss white and the pearl gold over it. It's going to look beautiful. I still have to do door jams, get some new seats and stuff like that as well, but it's definitely making progress for sure. If you like this video, please share it around with your friends and family. Show them such a cool little mod you can do, and it doesn't have to be Legend of Zelda. Again, you can put whatever you want on there. It's just awesome. Um, but I went ahead and changed it to another audio file. So once I open the door, you'll hear what it says. But uh, that's basically it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. And as I like to say, Jesus loves you. You heard her. Jesus loves you.